Hello my friends, welcome to another video of The Pipeline Guy. I am Carlos Sanyano and I am The Pipeline Guy. And um, on one of the last videos that I made, I made a kind of like ultimate QT designer workflow video. Um, and I've basically like a few days after I published that video, QT uh, released a new version of uh, PySide 2 that actually removed a component that was kind of making everything work for us. And that component was basically PySide 2 UIC. Um, and that's a module that um, ships with PySide 2 that now is no longer going to ship with PySide 2 and like ships kind of like in a separate place. So I wanted to, if, if you were following the video along and you got stuck with installing PySide 2 and you were getting this no module named PySide 2 UIC error, I wanted to just make this quick video to show you a very simple way to fix that so you can go ahead and move forward. So here we go. So this is basically the example that we made on the last video. And if, as you can tell, uh, if I run it, currently I get this uh, module not found PySide UIC. All right, here we go. So here's my prompt. I'm going over to my project. And then remember, as always, you have to activate your virtual environment project. So we're gonna do that real quick. All right, very good. So now we can basically see what was installed, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and run a peep freeze and I can see the different things that I have installed here. So the problem is, is that like right now, I literally just installed the latest version of PySide, which is 515. Um, that's a newer version that is missing this component, right? So what I want to do is I actually wanna install an older version of PySide 2, which is gonna be PySide um, 513.2. I believe that's the, the version that we want. So to do that, it's very simple. Now that we have our pip working for a virtual environment, we can simply do uh, pip install PySide 2, and then we're gonna do two equal signs, and we're actually gonna give it the specific version that we want installed. So that's this guy right here. So let's go ahead and run that. Oh, I misspelled pi side. Sorry about that, guys. So pi side. There you go. Make sure to spell properly every time. It helps a lot. So at this point, basically, it's going to be downloading the components. It's going to be uninstalling the old ones and installing the correct version for us. All right, here we go. So this is all done now. And now I should be able to run my project again. And there we go, my program is actually working. Hopefully this wasn't very confusing for you guys. I thought it was kind of funny that like this all basically changed like a week after I changed the, uh, after I made the tutorial. But anyways, I hope that this got you guys through. Um, as always, please stay safe. Uh, we got this coronavirus out here, like the part of the country where I'm from. It's uh, definitely made a lot of people very sick. We're staying quarantined. I'm not doing as many videos right now because I'm also very busy at work. But um, I'm gonna try to get back in the habit of at least doing small videos like this so that you guys can jump back on and um, get into that Python Python development in Max and Max Script and sort of like level up your skills. If you guys have any ideas of like small little tutorials that you would like to see, um, when I jump on forums, I see that a lot of people are still using Max Script and even worse than using Max Script really is using .NET. Um, .NET is kind of horrible. <laughs> So if you get a chance um, and you want to give me some ideas of things that you would like to see, like little examples, or even if you're like, hey, I have this really simple Mac script, like how would I do this in Python? Feel free to like hit me up either on the Facebook page. That's probably the best place to do it. Uh, feel free to hit me up on the Facebook page um, or um, tag me in some of the different uh, Facebook groups um, around Mac script in, in, on, on Facebook. Um, and I will try to make some content for you guys to help you transition into Python and so that you can enjoy like all the powerful, cool stuff that you can do there. Anyways, guys, please stay safe. Um, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.